Hello everyone, this is Christian Maddox Time Interactive, and in this video we were going to pick up where we left off. So we have uh, a way to show or know which uh, object we're talking about on our security details page. But now we're going to display the properties for that object. So for markets, we just have a text. Same thing for segments, they just have a text, as well as territories and types. Then when we get to the categories, categories are basically built of three different uh, options, right? The territory, type, and segment. So we'll create selects with all of the options available. And last but not least is the securities themselves, the more, most complicated one. They have a string property, a number property. This thing down here is our enum. And then it has the, you know, made up of the market and category which is again the composition of the other three properties. So those are displaying this information is what we're going to focus on in this video. as usual first thing I like to do is say thank you for watching the video and for subscribing and if you're not a subscriber I hope that you'll consider subscribing to the channel and with that said we're going to go ahead and get started here so the first thing that we're going to work on displaying are the easier ones the ones that just have a text on them or a text property on them such as a territory a segment a type that kind of thing so the first thing we're going to do is come down here and give us a property to find to so we'll have a text which will start out as an empty string here. We're going to also need to know, since we're displaying several different thing or type of things potentially, we're gonna to need to know which one we're supposed to be uh, showing in the template. So we'll make a few uh, computer properties here. So get is market, markets, I guess I need plural. We'll return this dot which if that's equal to security descriptors dot markets. So we've got that one. Private get is segments. This dot which dot segments. And private get is ter territories. Dot which dot territories last one private get is types turn this dot which descriptors dot types so now we have the ability to know which one we're supposed to show in the template we'll come down now to the uh, load here. Again, we're going to deal with categories and securities later, but we have our markets here. Of course, now all we need to do is to say this.text is equal to market.text. I'm just going to copy this thing. Of course, we'll want to fix it. Not the securities. We have segments. We have territory and type. So what we want is the text from that text from that and the text from that and save that so as far as the uh, script goes everything's good let's go up to our template and do some little I think I must do some styling at some point so we'll put a secure yeah securities details class don't know why I'm doing it anyway so put a form in here and so we'll have our div first one v dash if that's equal to is markets. What we'll do is just display h2 market, and then we'll have a label in here of text. And then I want an input. That input will have type equals text, and it will be bound to text. Let's go ahead and save that on the wrong thing here. So let's go back, go to our markets, come back in, and now it's being displayed. All right, so that's good. Now, of course, we could just 
copy and paste this thing a few more times and we'll get all the others that we just uh, want to show. But we are using a templating language inside of our template here, Pug. So we might as well make use of it. Let's create a mix in, mix in, security. I called it descriptor. I don't want it to be capital. Who cares? We'll pass in a title and compute it so we know which one we're talking about. So we have our, let's just steal this thing. So we have our div here. So this is our computed property. What we need to show, or we need to be able to pass that in. We use our JavaScript, basically syntax. So computed will get in there. And then the uh, plug has a syntax for string interpolation here of the title. Of course, we don't have to change anything else there. So inside of our form to get back to where we were, all we have to do is security descriptor and pass in the uh, title we're looking for. So market and is markets. Save that. Refresh just to be sure. Perfect. And so we have what three others. So I put segment seg. Meant this one territory Tory and the type. Of course, we have to change our computed property. So is types. I had thought about doing a little bit better job, not having to pass in the second one, doing some wizardry with the prepending the title with is and putting an s on the end and being done. Of course, territory is the one that throws it off. Stories. So we'll save that. All right, that means that I messed up down here in my getter, which is segments. No. So what have I messed up? Oh, didn't finish. Segments. All right, so now that's gone. But at least we know how the segment works. So if we go to territory, territory, types. All right, so everything seems to be working correctly for the, like I said, the easier ones. Now we'll do a little bit harder one. We'll do uh, the category. So we'll do some more importing here. So do the category, we need basically the plural. We need all of the segments, territories, and types. So let's put our getters in here. We need segments, we need territories, we need the types. Those are all going to return arrays of their appropriate type, so we're going to need to include those as well. So we need somewhere around here, I guess we'll put it here, the security segment model, security territory model, Security type model. We should be good with our importing here. I'm going to put some spaces between these things to start to so I can tell what I'm dealing with. And I'm actually going to put a, these getters in a separate area. So the previous ones up there, and while I'm thinking about it, the previous getters that we had up there was to find the individual ones, right? So these are the ones that return a function that we can pass an ID to. I don't know why this stuff never got a read-only attached to it, but now is the day of reckoning. They all get their read-onlys. So now let's do at getter this one segments. So private read-only segments segments, and that's a security segment model array. And getter territories private read only the territory model array and at getter and last types private read only types model array. 
All right, so what we're going to need is to have an individual one of those things for the category, so a segment, territory, and a type. So let's come down here and do private category segment, segment, and the type on it is going to be security segment model or null. Start off null since I've got anything better, I guess. I could make an empty one, I guess. Category territory or model or null. And private category type or null. Starts off null. And we need our is is going on here so private get is categories it's all plural descriptors categories so we have our is and now the last thing that we do is come down here and deal with the loading this is this dot category segment category dot segment this dot category territory this dot category type so we're good there with the script now we go back up to our template and so I'm going to put it on top here. <clears throat> You're more likely to, you know, look at and adjust the segment or securities in the territory in the category. So we'll put category up here. So div v dash if equals is categories. Put our h2 category label territory. We need a select. So v model. That's going to be bound to category territory. Need some options. So we have V dash four Tory in territories, V dash bind territory.id for the key and V dash bind the value. We'll just bind the territory itself. And the thing that we are going to show, of course, is the oops, territory text. Could save that into our category to take a look. So we have our category and we have the uh, all the options there. So let's proceed on. So we need the label for, I guess I put this type next. And we need a select. V model category type option V dash four type in types V dash bind the key type dot ID V dash bind the value type same deal we just show the text we have one more to do, label, segment, select, v dash, model, and category segment. Last options, dash four, segment in segments, find the Find the key. That ID. Dash bind the value. Segment itself. And display the text. But do it correctly so things work. All right. So we have the territory type segments. We have all the options shown. Perfect. And I guess last up is going to be us dealing with the securities. 
we'll need to have the plural for the categories and the plural for the markets, need the arrays. I'm going to come down and do some more. So security category model. Security market model. And we need our recommendations. So security recommendations. Perfect. Our getter here to get all the categories at getter at the very bottom, of course. Private read only categories array and we need a few things, but we actually need the markets too. So at getter get the markets markets market model perfect so now we have the getters let's come down here and we'll have a private maybe private security category which is a security category model or no of course so our security has a few more properties on it. So security last, which is a um, number. And then we need the private security market, which is a security market model or no. Perfect. And I guess we need the recommendation. Security recommendations. I could put a none in there or something, but we'll just default to buy. And private security symbol, which is a string, starts off empty. We need private get is security, securities, I guess. Turn this dot which descriptors dot securities. All right, so we've gotten a lot of that done. We do need to deal with the fact that the security recommendations, the recommendation is an enum, and we want to have it you know, displayed in our select here. So what we'll do is come down here and make a private get recommendations. So the thing that TypeScript does is on an enum, gives you an object which has the values of the enum, which in our case, you know, which would be the numbers. And then, you know, it also has the um, um, strings for all of them. So you can index into that object and get the value, all right? So we'll take advantage of that by saying object dot keys. Actually, we could see it, right? So we know instead of me hand waving around it, Let's do add a line comment here. Come down here and just say console.log recommendations. Save it. So we don't have to do any hand waving. So we'll see here. So this is the way that, or the reason why we have the ability to say recommendations.by and get whatever. And we also have, we can do security recommendations square brackets with the string and get the value, right? So we have these as our options here. Uh, and I guess I said it backwards, right? The indexer is a number and the value is the, the, the string, which is basically what we're going to take advantage of. So we'll, in this case, we have our recommendations and what we want to do is go um, object.keys and security recommendations. So what we'll do is then filter on X. So we'll, you know, we're going to go, we'll get all the keys. We're going to filter. So is nan and number X. And this is a, we can pull out the ones that we want. False. So now we do a map and 
Now, since that, that filter should work up there to give us basically the uh, numbers, or the, I guess we'll get, uh, we're gonna, yeah. So what we're looking for is basically the string indexer that is numbers and not a string, right? So now we have a string and we'll say parse int, we're gonna parse int x, usually complains at me, we'll do the radix. Okay, so now we have an integer. What we'll do is a map again, map, and feels like I could have done this a little bit easier, right? Instead of just mapping on, ah, forget it. So we put our parentheses, we don't have to worry about the return statement. We're gonna create an object. That object will have an ID of X, and then the text, recommendations of X, so it feels like I could have gone and done it a different way here, right? But anyway, we have what we want, recommendations. Go down to the load here, and the last one we need here, security. This uh, security category is equal to um, security and dot category. This dot security last. Uh, security market, oh, God, I'm not in alphabetical order, security market, let's, let's save that, wait, I don't know what alphabet is basically is the problem, this uh, security recommendation, and I think the last one we need, security symbol, So we have what, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, looks like we've got them all. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'm gonna get rid of the console log statement there. While we're at it, go back and we're gonna come into the securities. So pick a security there, refresh. Where are you at? So now let's, <coughs> now let's deal with the template. And <coughs> it's the same deal here. So I'm gonna write here. So if it's a security, we'll show it. Oops. <coughs> and you don't need to see me typing it all again, right? So we have symbol. We have last, it's more of an interesting one. So the number, expecting two decimal places at most, so we'll put the step on the, the number. We want our category, so those two are just inputs, right? One a text, one a number. We want category, which is a select. So we're looking at our category and then looking at all of them. Markets, same, so select and last recommendations. Save that and we're now good to go with all of those being shown and our number last is working correctly. Type in my numbers, oh, why does See if it works. <coughs> hmm. So Firefox, I don't use it very much. It lets me type in strings even in a number where Chrome blocks it. Okay, so we'll think about dealing with that at some point in time. Um, but I think that will take care of it for this video. So what we've done in here is used everything that we've done or built on so far to be able to now show all of the components within our different uh, models here, security, category, so on and so forth. And we have it so that, uh, you know, we have a select that we can choose a different component or different uh, options for each one. And I think, of course, in the next video, we'll deal with uh, persisting that with a few actions. But I think uh, until then, I will talk to you later. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I know that your time is valuable. 
If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up button as well as share the video with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thank you and I will talk to you in the next video.